Hey guys, um, we got another feature uh, that's out and about, um, and it's uh, the shell script provisioner. So uh, ideally, you know, uh, what is the shell script provisioner? The provisioner is supposed to, you know, enable users to do any kind of provisioning ad hoc along with the deployment. So in current gen, you were probably familiar with the infrastructure provisioning concept. Uh, where we had an infrastructure provision which would define all the config and then you would go forward and use that um, in in your uh, deployment by referencing the shell script provisioner step. In NextGen, we've done away with the infrastructure provisioning like uh, object itself. We just have steps now and those steps contain all the configuration input. So if you look here, I can created a custom stage and this is probably a, a common use case. So, um, what you'll do is some users probably want to provision some ad hoc infrastructure. So if you scroll all the way down, we offer this option of shell script provisioner. And you can define it in line, meaning it, let's say if you want to do Pulumi or you know, TerraGrunt, you can actually install the CLI and then run the actual script to provision, you know, do the TerraGrunt like, uh, plan, apply, destroy. You can define that all here. Um, you can also... Um, store these uh, like scripts that you are using for your provisioning in the harness file store. So you, we, in here you can actually configure like your own um, kind of shell script provisioning uh, step, you know, by saying, you know, sample script dot sh, right? And we'll say script. And then in here I can like, do like a, you could imagine doing like run instance and then you pass in you know the the key maybe the ami uh, instance then you'll pass in you know the region and then maybe um an i like a like a i i am role or something that you want to leverage and like you can just write that script out and you can save it in in your file store so this could be saved at the account um the org of the project and then you can apply the selected one and harness will use that to go uh do a uh, deployment or the actual provisioning with so you can save it as a template uh that's that's what i have in the example here where I, well, I'll, I'll use an existing template um i also wanted to um you know let you guys know that it's available also in the CD stage. So if you configure like a CD stage, um, you'll notice if I if I just kind of quickly comb through the service and the environment, and I do a blank canvas, you'll see it when I add a step. It's also oops, maybe I went. I think I scrolled too fast. Um, no, maybe it's at the bottom. Oh, here it, it will um, it'll be available for you in the CD stage as well for consumption and now um, what does execution look like so I already did a run earlier so I created uh, my EC2 instance and so you know we'll specify the output path and then oh sorry we specify the output path and then you'll see like I added some like, you know, steps like echoing the that I'm going to provision the instance. So cosmetically, I know I was going to create this um, uh, EC2 instance. You see me passing in my subnets, my security groups and the key. And then this is the output of that um, provisioning as a result. So you get that as well. And then uh, if it's success, you know, it'll proceed forward with the deployment on it. But on failure, let's say if the script fails, you would have to define the rollback too because the shell script provisioner doesn't have like an automated um, rollback capability, right? Because we don't, we don't know the state. So when you want to define um, a rollback, what I recommend is uh, if you go into uh, like a CD stage that has rollback, you should actually um, define the rollback in that... Uh, in that section. So it would look like, you know, something potentially where you say add, add a step or you could, could pre bake one and just provision your, you know, uh, rollback 
EC2 instance. And you would have your logic to do rollback in case of a failure. So that's kind of a high level of the shell script provisioner. Um, I will be enabling it for um, uh, most of the, the production accounts at Prod1 and Prod2. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or the team. Cheers.